video for you. It's pretty late now, but I received a bunch of tissue cultures in the mail today. And I'm pretty excited. I'm not sure exactly which ones. I don't have the list on me, but we're going to see right now. Oh my god, they look gorgeous. So, look at this, Jennifer. I'm just going to take that off so you can actually see. Wow. Wow. Look at that beautiful. So, the gel on the bottom. Gorgeous. And in case I forgot to put it back on, it's on here as well. It's sweet. they made a little exception. It's at my three. Lucky Brittany. <laughs> Thanks guys. You're the best. Oh, look at that lushy. Lush Coriambosa. Oh wow, look at the stems on that. It's a beautiful plant. Cannot wait to wake up in the morning now. And I got a whole bunch of this, my favorite little carpeting plant at the time, right now. It grows so well. Guys, you need to get this one. I got a whole bunch of them. I'm keeping a bunch for myself, so I'll, if you want some, you better message me soon. so lush. Just so green. You know how many plants are in here? There's like a hundred plants in here. Oh, and a real hot one. We got some beauty carpeting Monte Carlo. Look at those. Oh my god, I've never seen such beautiful Monte Carlo. I kind of want to stay up all night and just plant them all. Screw the rest of you, none for you. <laughs> Another, oh my goodness, just as gorgeous. Wow. Oh my god, oh my god, there's so much plants in here, it's crazy. How many did I get? I don't even know. <laughs> Here's another one. I think I've already grabbed one of these out. Oh wow, look at that one. That's got a whole ton of little baby plants. That's gonna be like a million plants in this little guy. Gorgeous. Okay. Oh, stops. Guys, box is packed three deep. What did I do? This video is gonna be 20 minutes long. <laughs> I should probably just start a YouTube channel now and this is going to be my premiere video. <sighs> Look at this Glosso. Oh, it's grown in so much. There's a couple that can't even get down to the gel to grow. They're a little brown on top, but that's totally fine because they're 
crazy amount of green ones. The only reason that they're growing no good is because they're growing so plentiful. They're growing right up out of this gel that they need for the nutrients. How crazy. That's beautiful. Oh, more Sagittaria here. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, I know that there's a lot of people that really are going to want this beauty. Look at that. You ever seen such beautiful plants? I believe that is baby tears and they, oh, on the back I forgot to get mention guys it shows uh, how much light and the difficulty baby tears this beauty right here I believe I'm I'm actually pretty bad sometimes with the nicknames of plants but this guy gorgeous and very easy to grow big winner big winner Rotella robustus. I love this cute little guy. Sometimes it's a, it's a bit harder to grow. Yeah, I was gonna say it's a little on the harder stuff. If you have a bit of CO2, I have one CO2 tank, so that's where this guy will go if nobody else wants it for a tank that they have for CO2. But cute little Rotella. Rotella robustus. It's adorable. It grows like a little bonsai. Bacopa Carolina. Carolina, sorry. I, I'm uh, really tired, guys. I may probably mispronounce some plants today. Another one of this, the Robustus. Oh, was the other one? Yeah, it was. They were both mini. This one's actually even even nicer. Look at that. I wish I could crack it open for you, but I do not want to open them. this one because I keep selling it off and then I'm like oh crap it doesn't grow back fast enough so I'm gonna actually grow a couple of these cultures here because this is a really great plant very popular and like crazy easy to grow guys like everybody can grow this plant Ludwig Europens buy it up if you want it that's the, that's the one for people that are like oh I have a black thumb no you don't you're just buying the wrong plants, probably. Or, you know, you might be doing one thing wrong. But you can always message me and you'll figure it out. This guy, one of my faves. Look at this thing. It grows like lily pads. It's really cool. It's, um, I'll show it to you in my tank another time. It's kind of hard to see its full beauty in the cup. This is actually quite a lot of plants and they grow very, very hardy roots underneath here. It's like uh, tubes. So I'm just gonna put that one down because I don't wanna like drop it on its head, have all the gel on it. Oh. Here's a uh, Carolina. Oh, here's a mystery one. With, oh, maybe these are like bonus plants. Uh, probably they don't have actually any labels on them. Oh, here they are. I'm just overlooking it. It's written. So whatever that means, it's a crypt hogs, obviously. Uh, so this is some cryptocorins, and here's some rotella rotundifolia. So here's 
another Rotala. I like the Rotala Robustus, but I believe it's a little easier to grow. Yeah, there you go. A little easier to grow. Oh, I actually would have thought it would be more like a two. I usually don't have any trouble growing the Rotala Rotundifolia, even in my low-tech tank. Pretty, it's very pretty. Sometimes it does uh, grow small leaves, but it's still very hardy for the most part in, in my other tanks. Here is one of five super easy plant to grow, Limnophilus esphoria. When I was at the Durham Club doing a talk there, we had like a, a guess the plant, and this is the plant it was, and I won it, and I will forever remember it as that plant, guys. <sighs> I love that plant. It's great. I got more than one of it, because it's actually quite popular. It looks kind of a lot like uh, Kamamba, um, but I find that it doesn't melt away and get all like yucky in the water as, as much like nearly as much i feel like kabamba just like periodically sheds all of its pretty foliage and you're like oh it's all this everywhere more ludwig europens because it's such a good plant and actually if you want to give it a google ludwig is one that shows really beautiful red and highlight it's like a burgundy red. Uh, oh, more hydrophila. We've looked at one of these or two of these, I think, already, possibly. So healthy. Right. Gel on the bottom. I'm sure you that. I'm sure that if the guys from ABC Plants are watching, they're like, oh, don't turn it upside down. Oh my god, don't do that. Look at this. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. This is the cutest little thing ever. So, this is a high tech plant. Four out of five on your difficulty. This is the one that they call the. I want to say it's like. Just having like big time brain parts today, so it's it's like a lot of people I think refer to this one as baby tears, but it's actually not baby tears. Baby tears is the one that is a little bit bigger than this, but in the same family. Where the heck did it go here? Yeah, here it is. See, they have the same first name. So they're relatives. Although this guy is called Baby Tears. This is like Baby Tears' cousin. He stays like really, really tiny and he's a lot harder to grow. Um, but two or teeny tiny little compact leaves. Gorgeous if you have like a super high tech uh, scape or something like that. But not for everybody. Not for people that don't CO2 like religiously and most preferably injected with the CO2, not like liquid stuff. And here we have some glossa, which is another carpeting plant. A little bit of browning on it, but it's still super healthy. Like honestly, I just rinsed off all the black brown stuff. Like if you just rinse the gel off, usually like the brown stuff comes right off with like the gel. And then you just have like beautiful lush green plants to plant. It's totally, they're still very healthy in there. Oh, here we got Lindernia rotundifolia. And another, oh, another super easy plant to grow.
and actually for the ones that are on the older end they did we were emailing back and forth and they said we have younger plants and older plants and which would you like and I said specifically that I wanted the older plants and to let the younger plants grow more so they uh, didn't just send them to me like oh take these browning ones I requested the older plants so that's totally cool because they're going directly into my tanks more little hero pens my fave such gorgeous gorgeous plants it's pretty much mostly the same stuff. I got a couple doubles here. Oh, this one looks really nice. Look at that. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. This is a real beautiful culture, guys. Look at it. Like one little squish leaf, but geez. Look how beautiful green. I wanted to open them up and show you. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow as I'm planting some give you a little planting demo because I know a lot of people are like we don't know what tissue cultures are we want to learn what tissue cultures are you know they grow the best plants and we've heard such great things etc but we just don't know we've never seen I will show you oh here's some water sprite oh look at that cute little plants how cute those are! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Those are adorable. I believe you can grow water sprite even just floating, if I'm not mistaken. And it's crazy easy. And they actually, some of them use a discouraged for, for CO2. Give you little tidbits on some of them. What's here? No, seems CO2 beneficial. Maybe it's just. And I'm at the end now. I only got a few. I don't have a plant addiction, I swear. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. There's one more in the box. One little More repens. There's a spot back here. Okay. Hey, I said it was going to be 20 minutes and it's 18. Not bad. I'm going to sign off now. Oh, hold on. Look at my floor. It's a mess. I got stuff everywhere. I got to get the rest of my one bag of fish acclimated. I just did a water change, so that's why they're still in the bag. So They're going into their new tank. They hope everybody has a great night. And thank you for watching my plant unboxing.